everyone. Welcome back into My Chamber TV. We're the heartbeat of the Tampa Bay community. Thanks so much for joining us again today because we're featuring the greater Pasco Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Mr. Paul Friedlander, my sidekick here. Hi, Ms. Barb. How are you, girl? I, I'm good. It's hard to believe it's been a month already. We say that every time we open I the know. show, right? We do. It's true. So we have another great show planned for you, and we are coming right out of the gate with a wonderful lady by the name of Dr. Keontae Lindsay, and she's with Premier Community Health Care's mission and what I am so impressed first off are all the locations that you're involved with and so many people you're able to help. Welcome to My Chamber TV. Well, thank you so much for having me today and being able to share with you the great work that we're doing at Premier, Premier Community Healthcare Group. Premier has been in existence in Pasco and Hernando counties for over 42 years and we have the pleasure of serving approximately 37,000 of its residents. Sure. In the areas of medical, dental, behavioral health, women's health services, as well as we have wraparound services that support community members in the areas of assisting with housing, food assistance, insurance, and any other needs that they um, may have in order for them to live a full, active, and healthy life. Wow. You covered that in one big, long sentence. Okay. Well, this was a great show. We're done. <laughs> um, <laughs> Talk to us a little bit about where you all are located. I happen to personally know the one on on, on Seven Springs. I know the one up in Hudson because when I worked with the chamber directly, we did a ribbon cutting up there. Yes. So we are spread out, <coughs> again, through both Pasco and Hernando counties. And we're located in Dade City where we have dental as well as medical services and pediatrics. When then you can move up. 301 to Zephyr Hills, and we are, have our behavioral health services there as well as women's health, and then again, medical as well as behavioral health services, and soon we will actually have dental health services in that location. Now, that is interesting. Yes. That's impressive, because I haven't heard of that. Yes, and so, um, and we want to do this because we want to be <clears throat> comprehensive in the services that we give. We know that many of our patients have transportation issues, and coming back and forth for multiple appointments can be somewhat difficult. So we make sure that we have services in close proximity so that it is, provides easy access for our patients. And then if we head east, I'm sorry, head west on 56 and we come over to Newport Ritchie, we have an office as well as there in Hudson and then in Hernando counties at Spring Hill and in uh, Brooksville. Very nice. That is nice. very nice. And how do you how does somebody go about, um, I don't like to use the word take advantage, but how does somebody go ahead and become part of the service or t uh, be able to use the services that you provide? Anyone who is in need of a primary <coughs> care provider or a primary dental provider can access our services. Our services are offered Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. And it's Call our office, and we will make sure that our, you have our phone number, but it's 352-518-2000. Uh, you can visit our website and request an appointment. The great thing about it is, is that we offer our services to anyone, regardless of their inability to pay or their insurance status. I'm so glad to hear that because there's so many people in need, especially these days, and they let their health go because of the dollar. So how does that work for you with with someone that is limited resources financially? How do you how do you work that? Well, we try to um, get support from community members. We also strive to apply for as many grants as possible. For patients that are insured, we use those dollars to help compensate some of the care for those that are uninsured. But again, we strive to have high quality um, providers at our locations. We have over 30 uh, nurse practitioners, physicians, physician assistants, uh, dentists, dental hygienists, all ready to provide the best in care for our patients. And so we try to meet the patient's needs right at the time. And then we reach out to community partners for specialty care as needed. Ah, oh, that's so good to hear. That's awesome. I mean, I don't, is there anything that you don't do? I mean, this is really very good. We want to be, as our name says, the premier health care facility for the residents of Pasco and Hernando County. I think you've already achieved that, right? <laughs> now, you, we were talking just briefly before the show here today on the importance of colorectal cancer screening. 
Can we talk about that? Yes. So March is colorectal cancer awareness month. And we want to make sure not just the patients of Premier, but also community members know the importance of getting a screening. One in 24 individuals will be diagnosed with colorectal cancer this year. And so that's about 150,000 patients. And the <coughs> thing that most people don't know is that we typically start colorectal screening around the age of 50, but actually 12% of those that are diagnosed with colorectal cancer are under the age of 50. So really? everyone mm -hmm. should know what their risk factors are for mm -hmm. developing this disease. Mm -hmm. it, can you give us some, a little bit of help with that? for if someone happens to have symptoms to not let it go because I've lost friends through that and we actually have that in our family. Yes, um, the research shows that more men have colorectal cancer than women and it's because they ignore the warning signs that something may be going on. Of course, yeah, exactly. of course. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> so yeah. some of the warning signs and things that you should be concerned about that you should seek medical attention for would be rectal bleeding changes in the size and shape of your stool, abdominal pain that is continuous and, and doesn't go away, constipation or diarrhea, and if you're having unintentional weight loss that is rapid. These are all warning signs that something could be going on in your large colon and requires immediate attention. Mm -hmm. And they have, I don't know what your thoughts are on, on the, uh, the kit that they advertise now, but it's not the, the procedure, colonoscopy, is not necessarily the only way to diagnose anymore, is it? So colonoscopy is not the only way to diagnose, but it still so, remains yeah. the gold standard. And right. here's why. Yes, the test that you're speaking of is called Cologuard, okay. and it's a DNA <clears throat> test. And it is an acceptable test, as I like to say, for intermediate uh, testing. So colonoscopy is usually recommended every 10 years. Right. But for those that may have a family history of colorectal cancer, Cologuard is a great intermediary, um, uh, intermediary test for right. them to have. Gotcha. Well, that's good to know. Gotcha. I hope everyone's really paying attention to, because this can, this can actually be rectified. Yeah. Yes, so the great thing about I'm having a... Don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> The great thing about colonoscopy is you're exactly correct yeah. in that when we, it's a direct visualization of a person's colon, so it allows for us to see if there are any polyps there that can be removed immediately. Polyps are little growths that become big growths that turn into colon cancer uh -huh. if left um, in place. And, okay. and as you mentioned, family history is very, very important in this family. factor. If anybody in the family, whether male or female, has had any type of polyps or that type of thing, then they need to be very, very aware, do they not? You are exactly correct. Not just um, <clears throat> not just if they've had polyps, but if they the thing about colonoscopy is we can also diagnose other conditions that one a person may not know that they have a condition called familial polyposis, where there are multiple polyps inside of the colon, and most people can get this at a very young age. Really, and can can they? Um do they have discomfort with that? As they, they can have changes in their bowel habits. They can have abdominal pain. Uh, they can notice unintentional weight loss. Little streaks of blood in their stool can all be, again, yeah. signs and symptoms. Okay. But it's also important to know that colonoscopy also helps us diagnose <clears throat> conditions such as diverticulitis, as well as colitis, uh, ulcerative colitis, and Crohn's, Crohn's disease or other conditions that can be diagnosed <clears throat> via <clears throat> colonoscopy. But for those individuals who are younger than the age of 50 and there's less concern about polyps, we also have tests called fecal immunochemical tests um, or FIT tests, your doctor may call it. Cologuard is another test. And sometimes if we have concerns about individuals having colon cancer, we can send them for a CT scan to also diagnose um, their condition. And Doc, as we're running down on time, I can't believe it's almost over, when it comes to, again, you're helping people that are having challenges already with medical insurance in, in that case, and you're open to everybody. Mm -hmm. 
Do you guys actually, do you have people, do you, do you perform the colonoscopies? How does that work for somebody that maybe doesn't have insurance to cover that procedure? We do try to work with our community partners to provide sliding fee scales uh, for our patients' payment plans. We do partner with many of the local wow. hospitals that will take on these cases on behalf of <coughs> premier patients. Awesome. Oh, that's great. Awesome. That's so good to know. And well, as we wind down mm -hmm. one more time, first of all, thank you so much for being on and for all that good information. Let us have the phone number again. I know John's going to put it up on the screen. Yes. 352-518-2000. We are located in both Pasco and Hernando counties. You can definitely visit our website at www.premierhc.org. Dr. Very Lindsay, good. thank you so much. This thank was you. Awesome. We appreciate you sharing with us today. No problem. You thank have you to come so back. We could do a whole, whole show on this, a whole hour. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be right back. Hi everyone, welcome back into My Chamber TV. We're the heartbeat of the Tampa Bay community. I am one of your hosts, Barbara Marville Kelly. Thanks for joining us. Today we are featuring the Greater Pasco Chamber of Commerce and my sidekick here, Paul Friedlander, always helps me out with a great show as always. Yes, it's been an awesome show. We're excited to be able to talk to these two young ladies here. I know, it's all about clean juice. Just the name, clean juice, gets my attention. Organic, tasty, and we actually have with us Jen mm. and Abby Baker. Ooh, look at that. That looks yes. so yummy. <laughs> I would like to order that right now. <laughs> the second, the cleanse club. There you go. Oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah, That's yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um. <laughs> Let's talk about clean juice and why organic is so special. I love it. So the thing about organic and what makes it so special is the fact that you're not putting any pesticides or chemicals in your body. So when you're wanting to make healthy options and live a healthy lifestyle, and then you're pouring foods and products into your body that have those chemicals, you're making your body work that much harder and you're hurting your body. Mm -hmm. So we are very passionate about the fact that Clean Juice is 100% certified. And I think the biggest thing to look for in a, in, a, in a store is you'll see organic a lot, but if they don't have that USDA symbol on their door, then that means that they don't have to be organic. So if they don't have the organic product, they don't have to use it. So that's the big difference is whether they're USDA certified or whether they're just saying they're organic and the process to be certified USDA can take a long time and they are checking and monitoring everything that we do. Now, now okay. Jen, this, the, the clean juice and you guys are over the, it's the villages of Mitchell the, yeah. Ranch, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. And, um, and on what side of the village, and over by where? We're over where Cycle Bar is, right next okay. to Cycle Bar and 54, it's um, an F45 actually. Okay. So, awesome. which, and we're on Strength <laughs> Avenue, which and, I love the name. obviously a family affair because you is. have your lovely daughter with you. Yes. You know, Abby mentioned she has a 16 year old brother and I'm yes. assuming that your husband's also involved. Yes, we are. What, we're, from what, the beginning. Uh, what, what made you move into this direction? So Abby actually got us originally started, right Abby? Yep. I used to work at an Orange Theory down in Tampa Carewood where there's a clean juice across the street. Okay. Um, so I went in there <laughs> one day and just kind of checked it out and it was super, super cool. So I told her you should go check it out. Um, she went with my brother. At the time he was is about 13 mm -hmm. um, and she's like wow this is this is amazing it's a Christian based company also okay. and um, he's like 
you should see if they franchise. And my mom was like, there's no way. Um, I don't think we could ever do something like this. And he's like, no, I think you should check out and let's let's send an email. And so we didn't, never thought they would answer. Um, we sent an email and that's just how it all now, did, started. Is, yes. did, is, it, is it Tampa based? It is an actually United States all over the U.S. There's it over is. 100 of them now. Yes. Awesome. Located, and they, yeah. yeah, they're located in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. In North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yep. And yeah. so... Not and I apologize. I was like I mentioned, we were there for your ribbon cutting yes. store yes. opening. But um, what type? I know John put some stuff mm -hmm. up. But what type of products? And sir, what type of products do you offer? So in? the the big misconception is mm -hmm. when they hear the word clean juice that we only serve juice, right? Yeah. We serve so much more, as you can see. Um, acai bowls, they're incredible. Ooh, yeah, we have. Oh, they're so Yum. good, and they're they're better than a lot because we use a lot of different. Um, um, frozen fruits to make them. So it is like a th almost thick as ice cream, wouldn't mm -hmm. you say? Um, we have smoothies. We have um, fresh juice and then our cold pressed juice. Two different, mm -hmm. big differences between the two. Um, and then we also serve um, toasts, avocado toast, toast, the best around. <laughs> um, we serve there's our toast. We also serve um, wraps, which we're super oh, nice. excited about. Those are very popular. Um, what else do we serve? Am I so missing anything? So green wobbles mm -hmm. um, and soups, as well as lattes. Mm -hmm. awesome. and, and our soups are seasonal, so they're almost uh, gone for the season. Mm -hmm. um, but they will be back for mm -hmm. fall. Yes. You yes. know, that is so exciting. I, I have to ask you, now, both of you, mm -hmm. there's a family-owned business. Mm -hmm. You've been homeschooled, so I'm wondering, have you been being fed organic for a while yeah so we've been big about being organic and healthy and you know i used to juice at home and i learning how much work it is how much produce it takes and how we offer that convenience for people to not have to go and you could you, i mean you would stock your entire fridge with the amount that it would take to juice oh i know, know. mine is stocked right yeah now. right yeah a new jacqueline juicer yes and, um, juice ready it away go. right <laughs> <laughs> yeah but anyway oh, going jack who <laughs> <laughs> but I, this is a perfect fit for you guys. It really is, you know. And and that homeschool homeschool aspect, they're learning the business side of. I mean, the education. They're like right in it, learning it yeah. from from the start. And you know, running and how, what it takes to run a business. They went to a when they went with us to Discovery Day. They were through the interview process, through start construction, everything. They've mm -hmm. been through the whole thing. No, it's yeah, bro, come in and work. Too. That's right. Yeah, yeah, he's one of our shift leads right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That is so, so I cool love is that this. to get to be his boss. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I bet. Uh, yeah. I Go bet do this, do I that. Bet, I bet he does too. Yeah. Um. <laughs> and you know, we cater to the community. So we have homeschool groups that will bring their, their um, groups into our store and we give them a tour, take them to the back. We show them what cold pressing process looks like. And so it's been really cool. A lot of parents have been loving it and the kids fall in love with it. And then they're excited because their kids now want to eat healthy. As long as See, you mentioned yes. it, that you talked about cold mm -hmm. pressing being different than... Mm -hmm. Yes, then fresh juice. Okay, so... Yes, so the big difference is, minutes, yeah. Is so fresh juice is using a centrifugal juicer. <clears throat> so it has, um, like, sharper teeth. It cuts into the fruits and vegetables. It generates an amount of heat. Anytime you generate heat or cut into fruits and vegetables, it right. starts to break down the nutrient content, kind of like the difference between raw and cooked, right? right. Um, when that happens, you want to drink that juice within 30 to 45 minutes, and that's a big misconception. Some people will say, oh, I juice at home. I juice it all at once, put it in my fridge for a week. I'm like, no. Eh, you can't do that. You do that. No. So then we have a cold press machine. It is a giant, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. We named her Greta. Yes. She's so big. She's in the back. She has her own <laughs> shower in the back and everything. She's giant. Yes. And that machine does not produce any heat. It gets cold. It only <coughs> gently crushes the fruits and vegetables. And then because of that, it retains its highest nutrient and enzyme content. And those enzymes are what help pull everything into our body, right? And they last longer mm -hmm. from how long? About three to seven days, depending mm -hmm. on what the juice is and when it's pressed. Three to seven yeah. days? Very laborious work. She is one of our cold pressers. Mm -hmm. It each, takes Each batch takes around an hour to two hours really? to produce. Yeah. Can you tell us um, some of your favorites, your favorite yeah. juices? Yeah. Um, so one of my personal favorites is the green. And that one is not everybody's favorite. It's more of your hardcore greens. So it's going to have kale, spinach, celery, lemon lemon, ginger, and cucumber. Um, it's kind of like a salad in the bottle. Uh, one of the most popular is orange. That one's going to be your tropical one. It has orange, pineapple, carrot, um, and turmeric. 
Ooh, good anti-inflammatory. Yeah, oh, very, very good. Yeah, which we have cleanses that what are so huge. What yeah. is the flavor for the? What? What is it? The lemon that gives it some? What? It's the celery and the ginger that's going to be a little bit more potent. Okay. And mm -hmm. so it's definitely more of your hardcore greens. Mm -hmm. We do have a sweet green, which is going to be more sweeter because it has mint and um, apple. Okay. Yeah. What about beets? We, we have, have a beet one. Yep, we do. We have one of my favorites. Yeah, That's beets, so apple, carrot, and lemon. And we do cleanses. That's the big thing about it. So, and cleansing. If you're going to cleanse, cleanse organic. Otherwise, you're just over toxifying no, you're, your body. You're absolutely right. You know, so and so <laughs> that's been huge. We sell a ton of cleanses. We have five different kinds. Talk, have, talk, to, talk to us about We one. have the beginner one, which is four cleanses sweet green, um, orange, red, and um, it's yellow. And then we have the original cleanse. We have an anti-inflammatory cleanse, which is designed just for that purpose of helping with joint pain, swelling, anything like that. Immunity cleanse to build up your immune system. Very good cleanse. Very popular. I'm coming there. And the energy cleanse. You want to boost in energy? We have an energy cleanse with features two of the beets. And beets have nitrates in them that open up your, help open up your blood vessels and get them flowing. So um, we also have what's called a cleanse club. So for those who want to cleanse regularly, you can sign up through our app. And it's like every month, you, your money is taken out at the beginning of the month, and you have the entire month to decide if you want to do your one day, two day, three day, and you pick your dates, and then we have it all ready for you. Mm -hmm. And you save 11 to 12 percent doing a cleanse club. Wow, mm -hmm. uh, that go. sounds yeah. awesome. And you know, the one thing about juicing is it really helps with the bloat, oh, yes. weight gain, and all of that. Look at Very you much. girls, you're <laughs> an excellent. <laughs> shape. And, yes. and you know, the thing is, is that I love it when I see. The younger set mm -hmm. getting into this I agree. nutrition that is what we need. Definitely. You'll be able to help yourself prevent disease coming mm -hmm. down That's the right. road. She does a quarterly five day cleanse That's and for you. Yeah, and mm -hmm. does amazing with it. And our team as well, you know, a lot of our team that works at our store are younger and they're involved. They like to cleanse. So, you that know, it's so a good wonderful. example. Speaking of the store, what are the hours? So we're open Monday through Sunday and Monday through Friday we're open. Um, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturdays 8 to 8, and then Sundays 9 to 6. And we have an Instagram account that we are we do ourselves. We're very active with it at Clean Juice Trinity. Facebook, we have Google My Business. We're on website, everything. So you're doing it all. We're doing it all. We have an app that's amazing, yeah. How long have you been open over there? We only have a few seconds. Mm -hmm. um, over, over a year. Mm -hmm. Over, over a, year. a year. Very yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. So you didn't let all this nonsense no, bother we, you. You we just would, pushed we through. Push, that's it. We pushed through. Go. We stayed open, and we had the great support of our community. Awesome. Good. Mm -hmm. Good and for you. you. Have obviously, inside. Do you have outside seating also? Yes. Mm -hmm. awesome. Yes, we do. Very mm -hmm. nice. Awesome. I'm coming Guys, for lunch. Come yes. Come, yes. come see us. Right there, <laughs> Villages of Mitchell Ranch, right at the corner of 54 and mm -hmm. Little. Um, come see these lovely ladies and the other half of the, the other half, not the better half, but the other half. <laughs> the husband and the brother come, come visit. That's right. Come well, thank us. you, ladies. Appreciate I'm definitely coming. Okay, right. we'll awesome. be right back. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Paul Friedlander, and I am the co-host today with my buddy, Miss Barbara Marville Kelly, the ultimate host. And we're <laughs> here with My Chamber TV, representing the Greater Pasco Chamber of Commerce. And we have with us Miss Sarah Oglesby, 
who is representing CastNet Media, which is under the umbrella of Tampa Bay Times, and they are the in-house digital media company for the Tampa Bay Times. Is that correct? That's correct. Awesome. Yes. Well, talk to us about CastNet Media, because that's a whole new concept <laughs> for me, too. Sure. Um, a lot of people don't realize that the Tampa Bay Times has a full in-house <clears throat> digital ad agency. They do um, scoping from website de development, um, search engine optimization, and, <clears throat> and um, uh, PPC, which is what pay-per-click is, Google AdWords. Um, then we also handle your social media management, as well as a variety of digital targeting tactics as well. And out of it, how, you know, again, that you think of it, you know, think of the parent company and you think of obviously the advertising and the, yeah, I know you guys still have the papers and things like that, but mm -hmm. how does somebody uh, get um, to the CastNet Media piece other than going to the website, but how do they become involved with that? How do they... How do you help them with that? Sure. So what's great about the fact that this agency is within the umbrella of the Tampa Bay Times is we have existing clients that are in need of our services. So we partner, as a digital strategist myself, I partner <laughs> with a lot of the sales reps to um, meet with our existing clients and, and new business to talk about what their our online presence looks like. Are they being found online? Do they need help? Do they not have a website? These are all important things to every business, and a lot of people don't realize that they might be doing things that are hurting them online. So like, when, like what? So for instance, um, <clears throat> they might have a social media account, you know what I mean, but they don't have a website, and they're using their social media as their website. And that's a big no-no from what I understand. It kind of is. The search engines don't really care for it too much. Right. If you think about um, Google and Bing and Yahoo and the search gods, as I call them, <laughs> um, and how you can please them is if you have it kind of going on online. Or do you have a website? Are you using the right keywords on your website? Are you on a lot of the directories? So the, the listing directories are super important to the search engines, and a lot of people don't even know what those are, what which are, are like uh, yellow pages. Um, next, it's, there's, there's a, hundreds of them out there that you and I will probably never go on, but for whatever reason, Google finds them important, so we find them important. So we want to make sure that you're listed on there with all your information correct so that that looks good for your search engine optimization. Um, and the more you kind of have going online, then the more, the better you're going to represent to the search engines, mm -hmm. right? The keywords and all that good stuff. Correct. Mm -hmm. So everything is tied together. So you can have a website, but just having a website doesn't mean that people are going to get to it. Exactly. Right? So a lot of people will spend a lot of money on a nice new website, and nobody can find it. <laughs> and that's a problem. You know what I mean? So they don't realize it. Or they don't have a web, or they have a website. It's five years old. And there's a lot of keywords and, and things that are not, haven't been cleaned up on the back end that are actually hurting them in the search engines. Google's actually pushing people away from them instead of towards them. And all those behind the scenes ones that you've mentioned, I mean, Yellow Page is a little bit bigger, but all those 30 or plus behind the scenes, you guys are able to access those to find out if the information is correct across all those that a normal business would do. Am I correct? Correct. Yep. We like to do what we call, um, like, take a look at your digital footprint. So we can do an online audit for any business, and it's free, so you can absolutely reach out to us for an online audit of your business. Um, we'll take a look at the search directories. We'll kind of see where you're falling in the search engines and what sort of, you know, issues we might be looking at um, to help kind of turn it around. Um, it's kind of like when we're talking about search engine optimization, that's not something that can be done overnight. So right. it tends to overwhelm a lot of business owners because um, they're like, well, I don't even, I can't wrap my head around it. So, and it's just so much to think about that I, I don't even want to mess with it. So they let it go and then it, they're hurting themselves. Them hurt, they're hurting themselves. They're losing out on business because their competitors are actually doing it. Um, I actually, one of the things that I like to do when I go out and meet with clients is I like to do comparison charts. I like to do kind of a glimpse into what their competitors are doing, how they're looking, as opposed to how that client might be looking. Because I do want to know what, if I'm losing business, you know, and how I can, you know, fix that, remedy yeah. that. Uh, sir, with the, with the quote unquote, the gods that we spoke about earlier, yeah. the Bing and, the, and Google and Yahoo. Um, I know with Google it's important. It, is the mobile app important to all across the board with all three? 
having a mobile app yes. for your store. Um, it's not as important um, as far as your <coughs> digital footprint is concerned. Okay. It's only important if it serves its purpose and in regards to helping you get new business. Okay. If it's helping attract new business, um, that app, um, and it's something where people can either purchase online, if it's retail or things like that, that can kind of help drive e-commerce, then sure, absolutely. But you want to make sure that every single thing that you're doing is consistent and uniform. So just as an example, we'll often see on someone's Google My Business page, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the, what that is, but every business has a Google My Business page. Um, you may have your address written out, RD period, but on your website it's written out R. O A D. That's an inconsistency. These are little things that people don't realize that kind of displease the search engines. So what we do is we kind of clean up all of that and make sure everything's consistent, that you're on all the listing directories. Um, and in regards to social media, that's a whole other ball game. But the social media does affect your SEO. People don't realize that. It does. I, How does it do that? So, for instance, the, the search engines actually pay attention to whether or not you have a Facebook page. And a lot of websites will have their Facebook link on there, linking to their Facebook page, which is great, but they won't have any of the other search or any of the other social platforms. So it's important to have some of the social platforms that, can, that, are, that align with your business, right? So there's some that, that you don't need because they don't align with your business, and then there's some that you do. But having that link on your website lets Google know that you're pushing traffic to another site that has a lot of traffic, and then that site that has a lot of traffic is coming back to you. We call that a backlink. Backlinks are really good for your SEO. There's a lot of little technical things like right. that. <coughs> but in regards, do you have a social uh, question? I, I do real quick, but I don't want to interrupt you. Finish up your thought, yeah. and I'll try to ask this before we close our segment. Okay. Um, social media, a lot of businesses don't want to bother with it. Time is of the essence with businesses. They have to run their business. They really don't have time unless they've hired someone in-house to do it, um, you know, unless they enjoy doing it. But the majority of the people that we, we meet enjoy doing what they, their business is. You know, that's why they opened that business. Right, right. So, um, you know, we partner in regards to social media. We say social media management, but we don't take it over. We partner with you because we kind of want to be an extension of your team. We want it to sound like you. It's your social platform. It needs to have your voice. Um, and there are certain strategies behind social media to help you drive new business and stay in touch with your existing customers. See, this is so important. And I, I would guess you could say that you're on the cutting edge of this whole digital media thing. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is so critical because it changes mm -hmm. from day to day. Every right? single day. <laughs> I have one question for you. If you and I, wa I want your card. I want to talk to you afterwards. Yeah. But you mentioned the word competition, and, and it is out there. And mm -hmm. when you don't understand this whole digital age, obviously we we that would be me uh, need your expertise. Mm -hmm. it, do, is there a way for competition out there to hijack a person's business website that you know of? Yes. Well, anybody can, I mean, not anybody, but hijacking of sites is a thing. You to, know, draw, to take your, your program and go over here to give them business and not come back. Are you talking in regards to, to a search engine result? I don't know Are what talk I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> okay. All I'm asking is, can that be done? And we'll talk I mean, about it, would it later. It would take a pretty savvy person to take over someone's website. I mean, that's hijacking. But, I mean, what I run into a lot of the time is that um, Google, Google allows you to buy AdWords um, of your competitor's name. So if you have, uh, let's say, your company has one name, right, um, and then uh, you've got a competitor who is buying your name as a keyword. So anytime I type in your name, the competitor's coming up at the top for a paid ad at the Bingo. top. Bingo. That's what I wanted to know. Okay. You guys hear that? Call this lady. I know <laughs> she can help you. Trust me. There are me. ways around that, and there's oh. ways to combat it. Oh, so. Okay. Well, I want to thank you so much because awesome. we got to know. You. We must know. When we're in business, we have to know what to do, how to do it. And mm -hmm. if we don't have the time, that's what you went to school for. That's yes. what your expertise is. And you mm -hmm. delivered a great message sure. today. Anything in the thank last you. 20 seconds we can share? 
Nope. Um, it, we, we offer free audits um, of your digital footprint. I highly recommend you yes. do that. Yes. Um, you can yes. visit castnet.media to check out our portfolio of work. Um, I highly recommend you go there um, and then connect with us, and, and we're happy to come out and visit with you. Oh, that's awesome. so great, Sarah. Thank you so much for yeah. joining us today. In the day and age when you want to build your business, yeah. Barbara's right. You need to contact this gal. Let Please her do, do your audit. You'd be amazed. <laughs> How many things behind the scenes are not correct? It, it will yeah. shock you, and it may even aggravate you. Mm -hmm. Thank you See you so soon. Much. We'll be back. Thank you. Well, welcome back. I'm Paul Friedlander, and actually, right now, I'm the host because <laughs> I get to interview my partner in crime, Miss Barbara Marville Kelly, for this segment. And we're going to talk about my chamber TV, the Greater Pasco Chamber of Commerce, and maybe even mention a couple of other of our brethren out there that are also chambers. So, Miss Barbara, talk to us about what my chamber TV is all about, how it's evolved, how we've been together for going on almost seven years. It might even be a little bit longer than that. Yeah, because we started, no, we, were, we were in a beautiful studio on, yeah. the, on the bottom floor of a house sitting on the bayou in yes, Tarpon Springs. Yes, 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 yes. It, uh, actually, it, it evolved with uh, John Gaston with Tampa Bay Multimedia, and uh, we had done some freelance work a while back. And he called me up one day and said, I've got something perfect for you. What are you doing? And so he explained it to me and everything. So here we are interviewing chamber members. And you know, the interesting thing is, is I've learned much more about the heartbeat, the pulse of our community, because it's where I raise my, my boys. And it's amazing, the family feel with all of the businesses. It's just like one big business family. And to interview the businesses, especially as of late through this last year, I swear, it is so amazing the people that started their business pre-COVID and managed to pull themselves through in spite of it all. Um, and their businesses are thriving and surviving, which is encouraging to be able to have this platform to put out there for any other business owners to, you know, help them, encourage them, well, and motivate and, them. And we've talked about it. You've yes. Got it, you've, you've, you've got to correct. Um, you can, you know, we, you can concentrate on the on the challenges and become an expert in those, mm -hmm. or you can concentrate on the solutions. Yep. And, and what our audience didn't get to hear when they watched this is the, after the last segment with the, with the mom, at, with Jen and Abby, mm -hmm. what a sharp, sharp young lady, she was so proud of that daughter, was that here we're talking about, and look, we know there's struggles out there. I'm not, sure. we're, not, we're not ignoring that. We're not trying to make anybody feel like we're making light of it. But they're getting ready in the next couple of months to open a second store out at the... Um, Wiregrass at, Mall. At the Wiregrass Mall. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, you work within what you have, and you just make it work. You do. And I think that one of my favorite words that came out from <laughs> somewhere, might have even been a politician, I couldn't tell you for sure, but introspection. Yes. Going from within, and, you know, you know Kelly and I, we, we do that anyway, being right. lifestyle coaches <clears throat> and all that, but... When you're hunkering down with your partner, who is your business partner, your best friend, your, your husband or your wife or significant other, you can still take yourself even deeper. Because my husband and I do that anyway. You know it as right. well. I mean, you've done all the training. We both have yeah. very similar it, skill sets. And when it comes to my chamber TV, 
And again, there's other chambers that are on here. I know my buddy mm -hmm. Jean does tarpon springs. Oh, and she's does, awesome. Yeah, and she's just a wonderful yeah. lady. And, you know, of course, you have, you have back at the office, you have Tim McLean and mm -hmm. Charlotte and um, Billy's back there now, who's been a wonderful asset. She came in through Career Source, and she's been wonderful. But talk to, talk to us, talk to me in the audience about what My Chamber TV has done over all these years, what it's done for them. And, and, and I guess since we're here talking about the greater Pasco, but let's, let's talk about what it's done for the small businesses and how, how the show's evolved and how exciting it is, even if it's a 10, 15, 12 minute segment. Oh, absolutely. That's a lot of time in, t in the TV world. Um, but I feel doing these shows with you, Paul, you were directly with the chamber. Yes. And we come on here and we interview the business owners <clears throat> and use this as a platform so that you in the audience can see what is happening in your very own community. We talk about why some of the businesses are different than some of the other ones that are maybe in, the, in that same field of expertise or what have you. And we give you a chance to go and visit, whether it's a restaurant or whether it's a home maintenance company. or, or And we've even had car dealerships. Yes. We've had just about every single business that you can think of right here in our studio. And l last month we had the Boy Scouts of America on uh, here. Wasn't that great? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's a platform for mm -hmm. these small businesses and what John allows them to do <laughs> is take that 10, 12 minute segment and for $75 they take it they can use it on their own social media platforms. They can use it on their own website. In the past, when we first started doing this, Jim Wood was the one that came to me one day and said, you know, he was in an a, in a insurance industry, but it was the, um, the insurance where you, you could, they would fly you home for wherever you yes, were and things I like remember, that. Yes, I remember, yes. And he was the first one that came to me. I remember sitting at my desk in the chamber office, yeah. and he said, Paul, is there any chance that I could get that segment? And... That was when it. That's when it all started, and he actually used that segment as part of his sales presentation because mm -hmm. he would go and meet with groups of older people, um, of more, more older, more mature, whatever you want to call it. So not to offend anybody, he would, you know, at mobile home parks and things like that at their at their rec centers, and he used the segment he got from this show as part of his sales presentation. That's right. For a long time. He yes. may still have, well, no, he's been he's switching been around. Switched but, around, but, yeah, but he it, was one of the first ones, if you remember. Yes. He, he, he said that, you know, back then it wasn't, wasn't $75, but he, he was the first one to say, God, this is worth four times what, what John's well, charging Well, you know, for it's it. true in television, especially if you have a good producer. Yep. Okay, you've got the right lighting, sound, audio, all of that really goes into play. And because I knew that John was a, a professional in the business for many, many years, as like myself, after working at HSN, I, I, I was used to, you know, really good technology. So I said, are we going to look good? Are we going to sound good? I'm all in. Yep. So it does make a very, it's, it makes a big difference. I'm glad that you mentioned that because we had another, it was uh, Phoebe with uh, the, Oh, be well. Yes, yes, yes. Be well. Oh, yes, yes. She came here Pharmacy. and she did. She, yeah, she took her segment, and do you know that <laughs> within a short amount of time, she had fourteen thousand hits, uh, just from one of these little ten-minute segments here. But you know, the thing is, is we pull the very best out of every business owner. And they're all—they're here speaking from the heart. They're yes. Not, they're not trying to sell you. They're not. Mm -mm. They're talking about their business and how their business can help you. They're not sitting here making a sales pitch. And that's why yeah. it works so well for Jim because it wasn't a sales pitch. It was just, here's what my product can mm -hmm. do for you. Mm -hmm. That's right. So it's almost, even though it's yourself, it's almost like an unsolicited testimonial. Exactly. Exactly. Tarpon Distillery has been here actually a couple of times and they do a fabulous job. And I, I've been living in Tarpon Springs for 23 years and I've learned more about my mm -hmm. hometown just by doing these shows and interviewing these people that have their businesses and I've been to them, visit, and I just have like a whole plethora of restaurants to go to, cleaning businesses, car and, dealerships. And you, as you mentioned, you really understand from all your years of experience with HSN and things mm -hmm. like that. What talk, uh, and I know you, we've sort of talked about it, but My Chamber TV, what value does that offer to these small businesses? Well, what do you think it would cost if you were to call a video company to do a 10-minute segment number one? And the content in it is that 
I take my skill sets from HSN and apply it to business owners. It's no different than if you're selling this gold pen here. And you, we do not uh, pre-record as far as scripting or anything like that. Paul and I come on here for yep. the, the West Pasco Chamber of Commerce, the Greater, Greater Pasco, Pasco, excuse yep. me. And we, we, we come from the heart, too. Yeah. We have fun. We have bloopers. We have... It, you know, it's we'll just a crazy times. Um, we interview uh, also charities and and different fundraisers, and we we give it our all. Yeah. And and with you and being <laughs> king, <laughs> king For, forever maybe For, yeah. forever. <laughs> You still wearing that crown? I have still got that crown. I still have my cup that says <laughs> King Pithlet 2019 to question mark. <laughs> I love it. But you know, you ask about the, the you know, the value. The value is getting the word out there. It, 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 I always have to say this. People come to John and they say, you know, video is the latest. That's the latest and greatest. We go, really? No. It's been around for a long, long time. But I think Video, just coming from my heart, too, is if you can hear people talk about their business without sounding sales pitchy, yep. right? Yep. If they're not sales pitchy, you get to see who these business owners truly are from yep. their hearts. You can see their passion. And you, as, you and I know as well, fulfilling your passion in your life experience and or with your business experience, that is a match of enthusiasm that can take you far in success in every way, shape, or form. That's why I love doing these shows. Well, I, and, and I don't want to keep picking on one person, but the, the, the segment you're going to see, the segment you just saw prior to Barb and I speaking, mm -hmm. there was, that young lady was 19 years old, and <laughs> you would have sworn she was an adult. And, and 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 even if you don't, if you're not into clean juice, I'm guaranteeing you, you're probably after listening to her, you're gonna take your behind and go in there and get something. Oh, I'm definitely going yeah. in there. I, yeah, because you, I, and I didn't realize that they were there. I know exactly where it is. They yeah. have all the all those shops are wonderful. Um, but this is, I was really inspired to see that we have people in our community that have been homeschooled prior to the COVID, COVID yep. homeschooling, right? And here they've learned about a business opportunity in a family-owned business with quality juice, all organic, and it's not just juice. So I love it. We will be back with a segment to talk to you about what's happening at the Greater Pasco Chamber of Commerce. Oh. Hi, everyone. Welcome back into My Chamber TV. I'm Barbara Marville Kelly with Miss Paul Friedlander. And we're going to be talking about the Greater Pasco of Chamber of Commerce and what's coming up. Well, this guys, I'm using a cheat sheet today. I'm just going <laughs> to flat out tell you, and I know John can put the events up on the screen and things while we're talking, but we have got, contrary to popular belief, there's still a lot of stuff going on. And here's what's neat. You know, I was in a presentation the uh, day before yesterday. And one of the guys was talking about Zoom, and, I, and I've said it myself, you know, I'm all Zoomed out, I'm this and that. But, you know, he made a really good point. The gentleman that was speaking is a good friend of mine, but he's also a financial planner. And one of the points he made, he goes, do you know, without the Zoom platform, my business would have been in the tank. And because of the Zoom platform, he had the, he's been a financial planner for three or four years. He had the best year ever in 2020 as a financial planner. 
And, you know, I said, you know, that's a really neat perspective to put on Zoom. Because you do, you hear a lot of people, oh, God, I'm so Zoomed out and things. But where would your business, some of you, where would your business be if you hadn't been able to conduct it on Zoom? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could have done it on a telephone, but how much more is, how much more important is it to look face to face with somebody and talk to them about what, what you offer and what they may need? So and with that in mind, I just wanted to let you know that today, which has already passed, but the first Wednesday morning of the month, of which is today would be March 3rd, so whatever the first Wednesday in April will be, from 8 to 9.30 is what we call the Wednesday Morning Network. That's run by a gentleman by the name of Jim Engelman, and he is just, I've heard him speak a few times about networking and stuff. He is a rock star when it comes to that. So again, Zoom call, jump on 8 to 9.30. There's no charge for it and you will be educated beyond all belief. He is wonderful when it comes to that. And then I want to sneak over here to March 10th, which was a little bit out of order, but on March 10th, which is next Wednesday, um, we are starting, because we've got a really neat concept, because we couldn't do BDW week uh -huh, at uh -huh. the end of January that we've done for 28 I know. years. The, 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 the committee came up with a phenomenal idea. We're doing business development year. So we're offering oh. a couple of business trainings every month throughout the whole year rather than packing it into a week. Oh, and that's the, a great and for idea. for the time being, it's going to be by Zoom. Yeah. Eventually, hopefully, things will open up again sure. back to some sure. sort of semblance of normal, and they'll be able to do it. But the first one is going to be on, on Wednesday the 10th. A little bit change can give people change up. It's going to be from 3 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Nice. And it's going to be business development year. And it's going to be an update on the city of Newport Richie. <gasps> and then we come back the next day on the 11th. And I'm going to give up. This is sort of an unsolicited pitch. But the Health Hut, which is Sandy. Oh, I know San them all, all over there. Now, if she's yeah. listening to this, she'll yeah, appreciate yeah, that. Yeah. They're doing a health fair on the 11th from 9 to 5 at their office. They're right there off of County Line Road. I'm counting, not counting. I'm sorry. No, they're, they're right little. there off of. Old County Road 54. Oh, they are? Yes, over there move? were Susie's. No, they've always been in that little plaza oh, where okay. um, the Mexican place is, the Carmelitas is in there. Oh, okay. So they're right in there. But guys, if you've not been to this store, this store is awesome. Yeah, they are. They'll have free samples for you. They're going to do blood analysis for you, things uh, like live that. Blood analysis, yeah, and really? Yeah, really, really, they, the owners over there are wonderful people. <gasps> yeah, so they are. 9 to 5 on the 11th. Um, also on the 11th. The Land of Lakes Brochure Exchange. Oh, that's and, been around that's, a while. That's been that's one of the newer ones, but it's been around for a while now. That's hosted by ASA, ASAP, which is Judy Fisher and her husband John. Um, that's an 11:30 to 1 o'clock event. Be, this month will be Zoom. I believe we're going to go back to in person in April with that one, but in, nothing for sure on that. Then we sneak over to the following week, which is May, um, which is Wednesday the 17th. This has been a phenomenal group. This is um, professional women in business. Oh, I knew you were going to say that. And they have been they drawing are. huge crowds from 1130 to 1, again on Zoom. They'll go back, when in person, hopefully they'll go back to, they had the nice conference rooms over there at uh, the Regional Medical Center, Trinity. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, but they have been drawing huge crowds to this event. They have just been, it's been, they've been rock stars, and they've really got this group up and running. So that's on March 17th, it's a Wednesday. It's always the one, two, three, sec third Wednesday of the month. And that's professional women in business from 11.30 to 1. The following day, um, there's going to be the Trinity Brochure Exchange. That was the one originally meeting at Seven Springs, which we'll eventually get mm -hmm, back to. Mm -hmm. But that's the one hosted by Eric Anderson and Synergy Ad Specialties. That is the longest running brochure. Eric has been doing this for probably going on 10 years. He's now. awesome. He is, he is yeah. absolutely phenomenal. Also on that day, don't know exactly where, when, but YPG, which has really started to blossom too, the Young mm -hmm. Professionals Group, those are our 21 to 40 years olds. They're doing, they're, they're going to have on that um, Wednesday, they, on that, I'm sorry, on that Thursday, which is the third Thursday of the month, they do a, um, a monthly mixer from 530 to 7. Not to be announced or be determined. Then on the twenty, the following week on the twenty fourth, business development year, the Department of Labor from eight to nine o'clock in the morning is going to be speaking. Cool. So it's going to be this. They've real this business development year was an awesome concept with the way everything was going yeah. and not being able to pack yeah. it into a week. Sure. 
That Thursday, the last brochure exchange of the month, the fourth Thursday, is Newport Ritchie Brochure Exchange. That, I believe, is sponsored by Liberté Accounting and Carol Ryan. That's an 11.30 to 1. And then the first um, Thursday of the month, which we've already, that, not this month, but next month, YPG is doing two events a month. One's going one's to be a social, and one's going to be a lunch and learn. So on April 1st, no April Fool's, YPG is going to be doing a lunch and learn from 11.30 to 1. And then the ambassadors for the West Pas for the Greater Pasco Chamber of Commerce will always meet on that first, is it first? Yep, the first, uh, second Tuesday of the month, which will this time be April 6th from 8 to 9 o'clock in the morning. And whether you're an ambassador or not, you're, they're, they're more than welcome to attend the Zoom because cool. we're looking for more ambassadors. I guess the bottom line is, is that, yes, we're still doing a lot of stuff by Zoom, but we're slowly going to start to go back. We just, you know, you and I have our own opinions on COVID, which probably don't necessarily align and agree with everybody else, so they align and agree with us. But And again, we've never taken it lightly. No, never. But we also, are, we also want to make sure that no matter what your opinion is or whether you're, whether you're very fearful of it or just sort of lackadaisical about it, whatever the case is, we just try to make sure we're respectful. So as a chamber, right. it, it makes our jobs very difficult because yeah. you got to balance. I know. Well, it, I was just going to say balance and, you know, mm. pace yourselves and do the best you can with what you have to work with and tune into our shows, all of our shows. Yes. Every single one. I mean, go to webeamtv.com and you will see the shows that we have on there because we have something for everyone. Yes. And with My Chamber TV, it's actually, this last year has been very inspirational and motivational because we share with you the positivity of the businesses yes. that have pushed through and, all and, this. And we've not had a business on that hasn't been growing or hasn't just been excited about the opportunity. Look, or the opportunity to grow. Look, granted, not everybody's, you know, we're not saying people didn't have challenges. Not everybody had a, um, a, a great time. You know, not everybody had a great year. But again, People are pushing through it. Their attitudes are wonderful. We've we've dealt with since this the whole thing started. We've dealt with some of the most wonderful people. Oh, it, it's so. And true. we're not hand selecting them. They're, no. We, we ask them if they'd like to come on, and they're coming on. Yeah, because words really getting out, and when they come to the studio, they go, "This is a real TV studio." We go. Yeah, we're like the best kept yep. secret around town. Nerd talk, John. How long has nerd talk been going on? Eight years. How long has um, uh, Dillon's show going on? A long time. Yeah. Fifteen years yep. talking about mortgages. And and let's not t forget when you come out and visit. Not only come out and visit the studio. They've got a beautiful new um, storefront across the way. And what was the name of that again, John? Nerdosphere. Nerdosphere. <laughs> I haven't I, seen guys, the I finish. Just, oh my gosh! I went over there and looked at it. There's there's opportunities to purchase if you're a nerd. There's opportunities to purchase <laughs> some really cool stuff. But this thing is laid out. It is absolutely gorgeous. Stop on, knock on the door. I will guarantee you if John's not out doing a shoot, he will be more than happy to take you over and show it. And is there certain hours that it's open? John's here like forever. Gotcha. <laughs> he's gotcha. home away from home. John lives his passion. He's been in the business for many, many years, knows what he's doing. You can come in, sit down, and be rest assured that whether you're on My Chamber TV or you're coming in for any of the other shows, my husband and I do primetime TV on Monday. We do Women Unscripted on the last Monday of the month, and we change it up. We have special editions, but really, there is such a diversification of so many different yeah. shows here, whether you want to have a fun show. Oh, yeah. and what about our um, Who Knew? 62 Who Knew. Look at all these shows. Yeah, look, I mean, it's Come awesome. on. And guys, at the end of the day, as we're winding down this segment, the Greater Pasco Chamber of Commerce would, and some of my fellow chambers would never have had this opportunity if it wasn't for John Gaston, Tampa Bay Multimedia, WeBeam TV, some of the other people behind the scenes, Rob, and especially my buddy over here, Miss Barbara Marville <laughs> Kelly, which can't say enough about it. But, John, again, thank you. Guys, have a great day. Bye now.